The state government has unveiled a $26 million package aimed at creating jobs in Adelaide's struggling northern suburbs. Political reporter Rory McLaren is live at Elizabeth. Rory, the package is designed to soften the blow from Holden's closure. Yeah, that's right, Brenton. The decision to close Holden's plant here by the end of next year will ultimately cost thousands of jobs. And already this area of Adelaide has an unemployment rate which is getting close to 10%. That's something the Premier is hoping will be alleviated with a package outlined today. Elizabeth's Holden plant is a constant reminder to locals of the job losses on the horizon. But now the Premier has added a multi-million dollar measure of hope. If we can get it right here, uh, we can get it right for the whole of South Australia. The aim, generating 15,000 jobs in the area by 2025. In all, the plan includes $24 million of new programs. A $10 million small business fund to the centrepiece, along with extra cash for the Northern Food Park, a new disability employment hub and a bus prototype facility, as the region moves away from its manufacturing lifeblood. We know what we've done in Northern Adelaide in the past is going to be very different to what we do in the future. It's vitally important that we all pull together and work as one as a community to face the challenges ahead. Holden alone employed close to 2,000 people when the Elizabeth plant's closure was announced in 2013. Hundreds of jobs have already gone, with estimates around 12,000 jobs will be affected in SA alone by GM's departure. Unemployment is currently above both state and national average in Adelaide's north, and the government says it will take time to fill the employment hole. And of course, we are in the midst of a very dramatic transformation and there are no silver bullets. Experts say more help from Canberra is needed. To ensure that uh, we can build on the plan on its own, it won't be enough to fill the jobs gap, but it's a good start. The opposition doesn't believe the plan goes far enough. It's the government picking winners, giving some grants, but not addressing the fundamentals of how we get an improved economy. A mixed response too from locals. People are losing their jobs and stuff now, so you know now that they're putting money into it to get people jobs, I guess that's good. We're all struggling in the whole area. You see so many empty shops around. Yeah, I mean, Holden's is, what, half of Elizabeth, really. We are, of course, at the start of a federal election year, so it's highly likely that over the coming months we'll hear more from both the federal government and the federal opposition about what their plans are to address the issues facing northern suburbs here in Adelaide.